Hello, science fans. Today we are going on an amazing adventure. We are going to explore the world of physics. Now, that might sound like a big scary word, but don't you worry. Physics is simply the science of how everything in the universe works. It's about why a ball falls down instead of up. It's about how your microwave heats up your food. It's even about why the sun shines, the stars twinkle in the night sky. Physics helps us understand the rules of our world, from the smallest little speck of dust to the biggest, most giant star. Think about your day. When you woke up this morning, the light from the sun came through your window. That's physics. When you poured milk on your cereal, it flowed into the bowl. That's physics too. When you rode your bike, you were moving. That's also physics. When you got in a car, you were moving. That's also physics. Physics isn't just in labs with scientists in white coats. Physics is happening all around you all the time. It's the instruction manual for our universe, and we are all a part of it. All right, let's start. Motion. Motion is just a science word for moving. When a car drives down the street, in motion. When a bird flies through the air, in motion. Even if you're sitting still, parts of you are in motion. Your heart is beating. Your lungs are moving up and down. The earth is spinning like a giant top. Motion is everywhere. First big idea in physics. To understand motion, we need two things. Speed direction. Speed tells us how fast something is moving. Race car, very high speed. Turtle, very low speed. Direction tells us where something is going. Walking forward, walking backward. Put speed plus direction together. Velocity. Example, car at 50 kilometers per hour going east. That's velocity. So we know that objects have inertia. A soccer ball sitting on the grass will stay there forever unless something happens to it. So what makes it move? You do. When you kick the ball, you apply a force. A force is just a push or a pull. That's it. When you push a shopping cart, you are using a force. When you pull open a door, you are using a force. Forces are what overcome inertia. They are what make things start moving, stop moving, or change the direction they are going. Forces make the world go round, literally. Forces can be big or small. A gentle little push on a toy car is a small force. A giant rocket engine pushing a spaceship into the sky is a very, very big force. We use forces all day without even thinking about it. When you pick up your backpack, you are using an upward force to lift it. We've talked about motion, moving and force, pushing and pulling. Now let's talk about what you need to make a force happen. To push or pull anything, you need energy. Energy is the ability to do work or cause change. Think of it like the power-up in a video game. Without energy, nothing would happen. 